Okay, good morning. It's Thursday the 17th of November. We're on the Australian dollar, US dollar. Uh, first thing is we're having issues with Pro Real Time this morning, which is the um, trading software that I use. I've managed to load up the previous version um, and it seems to be working okay. But trading depends on um, if this platform is going to um, continue working. Now, on the Australian dollar, US dollar. So on the last few Sunday analysis videos, we've been going over this sloping support line uh, and also up here, key resistance, which was creating an ascending triangle. Um, the market has now broken out of this ascending triangle, out of the sloping support line, um, and it has fallen away. So for trading now, what am I looking for? Well, first thing is down towards the lowest price traded yesterday at the sort of seven, um, 7460 down to 7450-ish levels. Uh, we have a decent level of support. You can see the reactions. And um, because of that, I am happy to watch this area for potential buy positions this morning. What I would also like to see is some sort of a rally on the market. Some sort of a pullback into key levels um, to get back into sell positions. And the market has came off, you know, from up here where the sell started. Whoops. It's came off over 300 points now. Um, I would like to see some sort of a relief rally um, and then get back into that short. Down below this level, um, which is the support I'm watching this morning, we have further support levels. Uh, it's sort of 7405 level. And then we get down into stronger levels once we get down here. And down at these levels, this is the likely target for this market now that it has broken out of this sloping um, what was support and is now resistance down towards a sort of 7,350 levels okay so five minute time frame basically it's actually easier to show you it like this and the market has came down it's broken this level step down step down um, and currently it is hovering. So basically what is happening is creating a low, a lower low, then a lower high, a new lower low, and potentially what I would be looking for is that pullback to create um, another lower high for continuation. If the market pulls back further into this level up here, I would also be happy to get short because this would be the market retesting the sloping support and resistance line. Um, I'm watching the level down here, which is lining up with the lowest price traded yesterday for potential early morning um, bullish positions. And also up to the 7500 level uh, which is showing decent resistance. So those are the main things I'm watching today. Um, that's my expectations on the higher time frame. Also, what I will now do is we'll come back at 4.30. We'll have a look um, at what happens in the market. Um, zone traders, I will take you over any potential setups. And then we'll look at what the day's um, price action is suggesting for this market moving forward. Okay guys, we're just about at 20 to five. So let's have a look at the Australian dollar from today. So basically we've been in a little bit of a range today and uh, the market hasn't made much of a move. And the reason for that is because this market is um, bearish. It is in a downtrend currently and it has found strong support. So when it finds strong support like this, buyers step into the market However, the market is hesitant because it is still in that downtrend. So this is exactly what we are um, seeing currently. It's basically traders being cautious and waiting to see what happens um, at the key level. Now for me today, there were a couple of very nice setups. So this one right here, 735, I actually took this as an entry 
and the market came up into 7470, which is a daily support and resistance level. As it started to come back down again here, I just exited this trade at break even. The reason for that is it was moving up into previous lows, um, so I wasn't prepared to hold on to the trade as it moved against me. Now the trade then, sorry, the market then came down once again, back into the zone at 145 right here. This is um, the live trade that is going to be loaded up as a separate video. I got back into the market after this candle right here. I'm watching these levels up here for a reaction. And I took the market straight through um, and I exited the trade for just better than one to one risk reward. So it was a very nice trading day. Um, this one didn't quite work out, took it as a break even trade, but then I got my target later on in the day. It's important to you know, not look for your target blindly from each trade, stick to your plan. For me, the market was telling me to exit, so I exited this trade, and then I just got back in later on and made target. It's much better to do that than hold on to numerous trades that move against you and close you out for a loss. So this market now moving forward, we're still watching to see how this key level down at sort of 7,450 holds. Um, if we start to see bulls stepping in, we can expect some sort of a retrace. Let's have a look. We can expect some sort of a pullback. Um, key levels back up at 7,570. However, if this level begins to break, the market is coming off once again, with a very likely target being down towards 7,380 um, and 7,420 just above. Okay guys, so as always, I hope that was helpful. I'm James Orr and thank you.